Hello everyone and welcome back to Anxious Beauty. Today we're going to do a get ready with me full face makeup. Let's get started. Alright guys, so the only thing I have on my face today is the pretty vulgar unchained eyeshadow primer and that is it. This video is not sponsored in any way. It is just me and my opinions and we're just going to jump into it here. Uh, of course you guys know the first thing I always start with is my eyes so we're just going to jump right into that. Today's palette I am using the ColourPop Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon eyeshadow palette here. Fun fact, Sailor Moon is one of my favorite anime to watch. Love it. I've been watching it since like late elementary, middle school. But look at just look at this. Like there it goes. How cool is that? But yeah, I've been watching her since like late elementary, early middle school, and I am now a full blown adult. So yeah, I like it a lot. Nothing too crazy on the eyes, to be honest, guys. I am just gonna go in with I'm thinking really simple look today let's try moon crystal so this color right here this doesn't have a mirror in here which that's all right i'm gonna use this handheld mirror here and i'm just gonna put that all over the eye crease and all Since I'm not going anywhere, I'm just doing a get ready with me because I haven't done one in what feels like forever. So hopefully you guys is, are having a good Tuesday. Mine is going well. Same thing on the other side here. Alright guys, now that I got that color on, I think the other thing that I'm going to do is go in with, I haven't tried this one, this is Full Moon, so it's kind of like a gold copper shimmer here, I am just going to lightly tap that all over the eye as well, it's a very pretty color. I'll just tap that on with my finger, right over top, that's a pretty combination actually, I like that. And then I think I am done with this palette here. I encourage you guys, if you haven't gotten this palette, go out and get it because it is nice. And then I am just going to take a blending brush here and just kind of blend this so it kind of flows better. It doesn't really take too much blending at all. Also, I apologize if you can hear my heater turning on. This is a small room and it is cold here in Iowa, so, so sorry. All right, done with that. Now we're gonna move on to lashes here today for mascara. I am using the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect uh, Mascara. I'm also going to adjust that light right here just a little bit. It looks like I'm getting blinded here. It's a little bit better. Anyway, here's that. This is, of course, their mini tube mascara. I have, I'm sure they have a full size. I just haven't got it yet because I wanted to go for the mini first because I got it in, um, I think this was in the advent calendar and I wanted to be sure I liked it before I went out and bought a full one and I actually really do like it. It's a very nice mascara. There we go. I 
All right, that's better. So here's how the, my eyes are looking. All right, now of course, face for primer today. There we go. I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer and Dewy Luminex here. Ooh, I got a lot. That's all right. I just had to wipe some of that off. That's wasteful. Don't squeeze it all into your hard hand like I just did, guys. Also, guys, I always forget to tell you guys this. I know I mentioned it a few different times in some random videos, but I um, moisturize my face before uh, my videos. I just always forget to tell you guys that. So um, I use, like, the CeraVe... I think it's like moisturizer or something like that. I can't remember the exact name of it, but it's in that white and blue bottle. Usually is what I use anyway. Whew, we're gonna be nice and dewy. All right, so now we are gonna be going and using the Tristique. Uh, this is their foundation stick in the shade Cloud. I got this in BoxyCharm and I think I've only ever used this once, but they have a sponge on this side, which we're gonna use my other sponge here because I like that one just a little bit more, but it's pretty cool in case like you're on the go or you're on vacation or something. And then on this side, it's actually like the foundation. If I remember correctly, the shade works for me. I'm just gonna do this. But I've only used this like once, so I figured today would be a good time to like Try it. Also, if you can hear like licking and like stuff moving around in the background, that is my cat. Also, I'm just putting some strands down my neck there. But um, my cat's in here. So if you guys hear him moving around, that's what he's doing. And then I already got my sponge stamp here. It's just the real techniques. I'm just gonna kind of blend this. I think this might work as far as color goes or shade wise goes I should say. Pulling that down my neck here so my neck kind of blends in with my face. Oh yeah I think this will work. All right, guys, so there's what my face is looking like. Not bad. I don't know why I haven't used this before much, or I haven't, I can't talk today, guys, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I don't use this more often. I'm gonna have to, because that's nice. Now we're going in with some bronzer today. This is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Bronze It in the shade Light. This is also a body bronzer, too. And it's my personal favorite. has a little bit of shimmer in there, but you can like barely tell. So just letting you guys know that. Also guys, I changed the angle of my camera. Well, my husband did, but hopefully this kind of helps you guys a little bit more seeing a little bit better. And I'm just blending this in here. This is the Elf. Uh, ultimate blending brush, by the way. This is another one of my personal favorites. Okay, and then I'm also, just in case, gonna take my sponge here and just kind of dab that. So that's how it's looking, and I'm so sorry guys, the lighting in this video is just going to be all over the place. Alright, hopefully that's just a little bit better, I'm so sorry about that, but that's how it's looking. So sorry about that, that lighting was just throwing me off here, so I apologize. Okay, now we are moving on to, what are we moving on to? Blush! Sorry guys, I, I act like I don't know what I'm doing. I am using the Ofra uh, Mini Mix Palette Charm Your Cheeks Blush Palette here. Got this for BoxyCharm too. 
but this is what it looks like here and I think we're just going to be going with let's try this orange one today or this kind of lighter peach one I should say Just putting on a little bit of that, we're definitely gonna have to blend that out. And we'll put some on my nose, or on the end of my nose, just for giggles here. That's pretty. Definitely gonna blend that out. This is also a very nice palette, guys. If you guys can get this, I would recommend you getting that too. I'm not sure if it's a BoxyCharm exclusive or not though, but it is nice. Blending that out better. So I don't look like the scarecrow with my cheeks. All right, another product that I haven't used in a long time is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow Highlighter. This is in the shade Perla. That's just what that looks like. Sorry guys, I had to uh, switch out my mics. My other one needed to be charged. So I think we left off on me showing you guys what the liquid highlight looks like here from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And what I do with this is I just take my finger and I just lightly kind of tap my cheek. Kind of like so, that's probably too much there. And just kind of chat my upper cheekbone here, tap it here. We're definitely gonna have to blend that and then just kind of running that access that I have left over from this cheek down my nose here. So we're just gonna be extra glowy today, it's fine. This stuff comes out fast, but it is nice. Okay, my spongy in, I'm just blending her. Trying to make it kind of like where it's like actually in my cheek, if that makes sense, or blended into my cheek rather than sitting on top of it. There we go. There we go. So. You can see it kind of like right here. And then on my nose here. Oh yeah, definitely extra glowy today, but that's all right. All right, guys, and then lastly, I am for, or for my, all right, guys, lastly, for my lips here, I'm going to put in the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Katsu Matte Lipstick, and this is in the shade Nudist Peach. I love these little lipsticks. They are so nice. And then this is probably one of my favorite colors that I own. It's like the, one of the most perfect everyday colors too. All right guys, so this is a matte and my lips are just a little bit on the dry side today. So I am gonna go in with a clear coat of gloss over top and I'm just gonna use the uh, Trust Fund Beauty Better Than Therapy Lip Oil. You can also use that as a lip topper as well. And it's just clear gloss. But all right, guys, this is the final look. And here's a close-up of my eyes here. I am going to move this lighting over again. I'm going to have to figure out this lighting situation, guys. It is just not my day for lighting. So that's a little better. Show you a close-up of my eyes here. But yeah, guys, I really do like how this look turned out. It is nothing too fancy, but it's definitely a nice everyday look, whether you're going out or you're staying home or you got to go to work or something. I think this look could pass just fine. But thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Uh, as always, thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing, and just watching my videos. I do appreciate it. And if you guys want to see more of me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button by hitting the little bell to see future uploads from me. We'd love to have you here. We have fun here. Um, I'm a little bit rusty. I feel like I haven't filmed in a little while, and um, I'm trying to find my footing again here, but... 
We are back in business here, guys. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and head out for the day. And I will see you guys soon with another new video. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye, guys.